So we saw how to find the particular solutions and general solutions and solve for recurrence non-homogeneous recurrence relations. But now let us do the same problem by generating functions. And this time, the method of generating functions actually makes our life comparatively easier at times. Okay, so let us look at the example uh, solve for solve h of n is equal to 3 h of n minus 1 plus n. Well, maybe for this example it's not super much easier, but if it was, for example, 3 times 3n or something, you'll have to struggle with it with the normal method. And generating functions is going to give you easier. Okay. But this is an easier example to familiarize with how to do it. So here we go. Suppose the generating function is, suppose generating function of generating function of hn is g of x. Okay. Therefore, g of x is equal to h of 0 plus h1 times x plus h2 times x squared plus h3, oops, h3 times x cubed plus dot dot dot. Well, I have 3 hn minus 1. So what I'm going to do is similar to what we did before minus 3x gx. So you saw this technique similarly for the homogeneous equations part. It's going to be the same idea. I am going to subtract minus 3 um, h naught x minus 3 h1 x squared minus 3 h2 x cube minus dot dot dot. Okay. And What I get is, well, on this side, I get 1 minus 3x gx is equal to h naught plus h1 minus 3h naught, h1 minus 3h naught x plus h2 minus 3h1 x squared plus h 3 minus 3 h 2 x cube plus so on and previously when we did the homogeneous equations all of these vanished right they turned out to be zero but this time my h n minus 3 h n minus 1 is n so what i'm getting is h naught plus 1 times x plus 2 times x squared plus 3 times x cube plus dot 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 plus n times x to the n plus dot 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 is equal to well h of 0 plus summation n x n x to the n right where n is equal to 1 to infinity well i don't want to write it like that I am going to write it as h of 0 plus summation n is equal to 0 to infinity x times uh, summation n is equal to 0 to infinity n plus 1 x to the n. Okay. And this we have seen before by derivatives and stuff is equal to uh, h naught plus x times 1 over 1 minus x squared. This is the power series of one, uh, 1 minus x squared. The idea is you look at the power series of 1 minus x, take the derivative, you get exactly this. Okay, so we get this and therefore g of x is equal to, well, I know what my h naught is. My h naught was 2. So, that is equal to 2 plus x over 
1 minus x squared is equal to 2 over 1 minus 3x plus x over 1 minus 3x into 1 minus x whole squared. Okay? Which, by partial fractions, is equal to 2 over 1 minus x, two, uh, sorry, 2 over 1 minus 3x plus, um, wait, I, I, I will get a sum part from the 1 minus 3x here. I'll just combine them and I get 11 over 4 times 1 over 1 minus 3x plus 1 over 4 x minus 3, 1 minus x squared, okay? And so, therefore, my g of x is, in terms of power series, writing it back, 11 over 4, summation n is equal to 0 to infinity, 3 to the n, x to the n, plus 1 over 4, x times, x times, summation n is equal to 0 to infinity n plus 1 x to the n plus oops uh, is that right no the x over this gives me just n x to the n plus summation uh, minus summation, minus summation, 3 over 4, n is equal to 0 to infinity, what, what was I writing, n plus 1, x to the n, okay, basically split it as x over, x over 1 minus x squared, and 3 over 1 minus x squared, 1 minus x squared has this exponential function, x over 1 minus x squared, you get exactly this. Okay. Uh, if I'm correct, writing this, I don't... I shouldn't... Uh, I shouldn't have this x because that is what I'm combining here. Right? And so, this is equal to... If I combine the uh, terms of x to the n... I get this is summation n is equal to 0 to infinity. 11 times 3 to the n plus n times uh, plus n minus 3n minus 3n minus 3 all over 4 x to the n which is equal to summation n is equal to 0 to infinity. 11 times 3 to the n minus 2 to the n, sorry, minus 2n minus 3 over 4, x to the n, and therefore, h of n is equal to 11 times 3 to the n minus 2n minus 3 all over 4, right? So, this is another method for doing your, what do you call it? Um, solving non-homogeneous recurrence relations by using generating functions. It is quite useful when, when you're dealing with problems like the 5hn minus 1 plus 5 to the n, where you, your first approach might fail and you might struggle. This method will always work with those. Okay.